Good evening, everybody. I'm Samantha Fisher. I'm Eric Egan. Now, a new law will allow judges to give violators a tougher penalty. News 2's Naja Sherman shows us the signing of the law that takes effect next month. Governor Bill Haslam signed House Bill 1448 today. The bill, sponsored by Representative Mike Sparks, changes an existing law that deals with cases like what sportscaster Erin Andrews went through when a man secretly recorded a video of her through a peephole while she was naked inside her Nashville hotel room. Unfortunately, we're seeing a rise. Of this type of crime, and it's happened right here in my community. This week, police in Murfreesboro are investigating after shoppers saw a man in a Publix grocery store taking inappropriate pictures of a woman as she bent over. Also in Murfreesboro, at the Coles department store, witnesses saw a man taking inappropriate pictures of a woman when she didn't know it. Police tell us they are investigating both cases. Hey, I'm here to talk about a House Bill 1448 that we um, introduced this year and passed. I want to thank Senator Jim Tracy for carrying it on the Senate side. The governor just signed into law. We're excited about that. Thank you. I want to thank the governor for, for coming in for us and doing the bill signing. I want to also thank my local law enforcement, who are the boots on the ground uh, that see what's going on in our community. House Bill 1448, what we nicknamed unlawful photography. Uh, folks, remember the Aaron Andrews case, this bill kind of relates to that. Um, sadly, this happened here in Middle Tennessee uh, with a victim with over a thousand illicit photos. We're seeing more and more of this type of crime and behavior with more of the cell phone cameras, video cameras, small hidden cameras. Ironically, when I ran this bill uh, here at the General Assembly, the week I ran it, this happened in Smyrna at one of the parks. Uh, sadly, a, um, a guy had put some hidden cameras up in the women's restroom. Um, and it's sad that we're seeing this type of behavior. I often say that when I see immoral society on the increase, uh, that you can't legislate and incarcerate your way out of problems. You can't build enough jails. There's not enough tax pay, paying dollars to, um, to fund it. So it's unsustainable. Uh, I know folks may not agree with my stance on issues, but I want to quote um, George Washington said that religion and morality are the essential pillars of a civil society. We're seeing this type of behavior more and more on the increase. Sadly, some of these young people that may be doing this don't realize how, how severe this can be and the adverse implications this can have on their future if they're convicted of this crime. The judge, uh, under this piece of legislation, can allow um, a perpetrator to be on the sex offender list, which can severely hamper their ability to try to find, find a job and also really hamper their quality of life. Again, I want to thank um, Senator Jim Tracy for helping me with this, as well as TBI and my community. If my office can ever be of assistance, please call me, 741-6829. Thank you.